All right, so a lot of people ask what my render settings are and I don't really do anything special. I'm just gonna go over it so I can just refer people to this video. So this is my this is what I have here. This is for my tutorial I'm doing and I'm just gonna render it. So I'm just gonna go to the delivery page and I usually go to custom. I got my file name and whatever location. I render in single clip video, export video. I usually do MP4, you could do QuickTime but I usually just do mp4. QuickTime gives you a .movie file. Uh, I use the H.264 codec. I do have, H you can do H.265, but I usually just use H.264. Resolution, frame rate, like that's really it. We have, for my bit rate, I just put automatic, put the best. This is this is all I do, nothing, nothing special here. Uh, yeah, if you see anything, go ahead. But that, that's the, those are my render settings. So another thing that I do with my edits is that I put them through a program called Handbrake. If you don't know what Handbrake is, it's usually known for compressing video. But what I use it for the most part is getting rid of render glitches. So if I just open this video right here, I have the go to the end. There's a part where there's a bunch of render glitches right here, as you can see. And with Handbrake, if I just put it through that, it will go away. So I'm going to do my Handbrake settings right now. I'm going to show you also. I also, this, also do this to crop my square edits for Instagram. So I'm just going to drag this file to here and i already have a preset for what i usually do once you have all your settings ready you can just hit add and then name your preset and whatever but i'm just gonna go over all my presets again so i usually have align this uh, this uh, web optimize checked i always scroll through this so i can see if all the frames are there sometimes you may render wrong and it may cut out a certain part so i just go to the preview real quick I go to dimensions if you have a square edit then i would put it to custom and i would put 420 on the left and the right but right now i just have automatic because there's nothing there next one i'll go to video and here i would choose my codec i'm just gonna use h264 you can do h265 if you have it then i do frame rate i do the same as source and then put a constant frame rate and what i do is i put the placebo quality all the way up so my render is lossless and this will actually not compress my file but it'll make a bigger file size but it will get rid of the render glitches and it will stay the same quality the last thing that i do before rendering it out is choosing a, a file place to put this and also changing this .m4v to a .mp4 so we can have it'll playback fine when we preview it so once that is done you have where you want it then just hit start and code and it'll go through the whole process and usually pretty quick for short edits We'll see how it goes. Now, if I look at the MP4 that we got here and I scroll along to where the render glitches are, you can see that here there is no more render glitches right where the Kyoko logo is. It usually was on our hand. And I will go over it again. See there, there it is. And now it's gone in the other one. So that's what I use Handbrake for. I guess the last thing I should cover is when I upload to Instagram. When I upload to Instagram, I use Facebook Creator Studio or Instagram Creator Studio. If you don't know what this is, it allows you to upload your edits from your computer to your Instagram page. Just hit create post, Instagram feed, and then add your content and just upload either a photo or a video, anything will work. And just go through the whole process, fill out all the information. You can choose a specific thumbnail when you add something. I don't have anything added right now, but yeah, that is the whole process. And usually if you upload through Creator Studio, it is better than just uploading straight from the Instagram page. Because uh, in the Instagram page, if you do it from straight from here, it will turn your video into a reel i don't know it depends if you want that or not but i usually don't prefer that so how you go through creator studio and that's all if you have any more questions or suggestions of what i should do in the future please let me know down below in the comment section if you'd like to join the resolve amy community discord there's a link in the description as well as my own server if you'd like to join and with that subscribe and have a good day